Oh, hi there, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about writing equations from graphs. Now, if you want, I've put these student notes up on Edline underneath the assignment. So if you want to go grab these, you can. Um, if not, you can just copy this down. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a graph, and we're going to write it as a cosine graph or as a sine graph. And so you're, you're, you will have your choice. I'm going to do both. Now, if you're a cosine graph, you want to look at a peak. And the next thing you want to look at, very important, is your sinusoidal axis and also your amplitude. How far above to a peak or how far below to a trough do we get? So let's just get after this. This is going to be y equals sinusoidal axis plus. Now our amplitude, how far we go up or down, is 7. And I'm going to write this as a cosine graph. Now what we need to do is come up with this number, this B number. Now if you remember that our formula is period equals, if we're in degrees, which we are, 360 divided by our number B. However, we want to figure out what the B is. So our B is 360 divided by period. So now our period is from peak to peak. So let's see what that is. How far is it from negative 4 to 8? Well, that's a period of 12. So that means that our B is going to be 30. So that's what goes after the cosine. And then we have to do our phase shift. Now I focus my, I'm focusing my eyes right here at the negative 4. So this would be x plus 4. And you could have also looked at the 8, and this would be x minus 8, or looked at the 20, and this would be x minus 20. Now let's write this as a sine graph. Now a positive sine graph, you want to be looking like right here in the middle. This is where you want to look, where the graph is going up through the middle. If you, I guess you could write a negative cosine over here, but anyway. Um, the graph is going to reach this middle halfway between a trough and a peak. So halfway between there, that's going to be at 5. That's going to be a 5. I got that by 2 plus 8 divided by 2. So let's write a sine graph. A sine graph would be y equals, I'll do it down here, the sinusoidal axis is the same, the amplitude is the same, however I'm going to write sine instead of cosine, the b stays the same, the only difference is this phase shift would be x minus 5. Either, so I guess I've done what I've I'm supposed to do one's in one in terms of sine and the other in terms of cosine. Let's go take a look at another example. I'm not going to do all of these. This is fairly easy once you get the hang of it. I'll go down here and do, uh, I guess, this, this bottom right one. We'll do number five. So first of all, I'll look at a cosine. I'll focus my eyes right here. Now, I don't have the sinusoidal axis. So the way I'm going to get the sinusoidal axis number is I'm going to take the top number plus the bottom number and I'm going to divide that by 2. This will get me to the sinusoidal axis. All I'm doing is averaging here. And that is 18 divided by 2, which is 9. So my sinusoidal axis is 9. So I'm going to have y equals 9 plus. Now how far above did we go and how far below? You know, what is our amplitude here? Well, from 9 to 56, how far is that? Is that 47? 47 plus 9 is 56. Yes, so that's our amplitude, and I'm going to write this as a cosine graph. Now let's figure out our B. My period from negative 3 to 23 is 20. So my B is 360 divided by 20. So that should be um, 360 divided by 10 is 36. So that should be 18. So that's what my B is. So I'm going to have 18, and then I'm going to do x minus 3. So that's, there's a cosine graph. Now let's do a sine graph. Let's see, the middle of this graph would be 3 plus 23 is 26 divided by 2. This would be a 13 right here. Now I'm going to focus my eyes right here at this point. I need to figure out what that is, and that's halfway between 13 and 23. So that's 36 divided by 2. That's 18. So I'm going to do a sine equation focusing right there. So my sinusoidal axis stays the same, so does my amplitude, except now I'm going to write this as a sine equation. So this is going to be sine of b stays the same, and then it's x minus 18. 